Hey guys, it's me Chili here with a Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Today I committed a felony and kidnapped someone dragging them across the map. You guys don't need to worry however, the feds will never catch me. In the last video I made I crouched across the entire map so if you haven't seen that video I'll put a card right here so you can go watch that now. During that video however, I mentioned kidnapping someone and dragging them across the map, which I'll be doing in today's video. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to kidnap people and drag them across the world, only letting them go if they subscribe to my channel. If not, shoot them in the head and tie a brick to the leg, dropping them in the ocean to repeat the process, as it really helps the channel. So the first person that I kidnapped is called Billy. Billy is a very dangerous criminal with a long history of double dipping in the guacamole, so I decided to take down this dangerous man. The main rule to this challenge is the person needs to be alive the entire time, so no resurrections, and I cannot use a horse or a train. I have to carry him by hand. Me and Billy are going to need to get along on this trip because it's a two hour long journey and his fellow criminal friends are going to want to stop me. The double dipping mastermind and I made our way across New Austin but there were a few obstacles. I have to avoid roads and towns because if the double dipping gang sees I kidnapped their leader they will hunt me down. So I made my way across the wilderness where I encountered a spy for the gang. I was in first person to speed things up, but as we all know, bad things happen in first person. A guacamole double dipping gang spy disguised as a badger attacked me dropping the double dipping gang leader. I took out the spy but knew I'd have to restart. The next innocent person I mean criminal I kidnapped was a pineapple preacher who was worshipping pineapple pizza and was playing a rebellion against the king of pepperoni. I knew that this man must be taken down, if not he would take down the monarchy and make pineapples replace pepperoni, a disgusting crime to say the least. I disguised myself as one of his disciples and after listening to him rant I took him down. However, although I may have the mastermind behind the pineapple rebellion, his fellow criminals will be out to stop me from bringing him to justice. I knew the fastest way out of New Austin was to follow the railroad, and although a risky move since the pineapple rebellion would be patrolling this area, if it worked the reward would be immense. I was coming up on an outpost when a pineapple revolutionist stuck up behind me. While evading them, I did drop the criminal, however I decided it wasn't too big of a deal and carried on. I decided it was too risky to stay on the road for the pineapplers could catch me so I cut across the wilderness keeping a close eye out for badgers. It paid off pretty well however and I made my way throughout the night without losing the captured crook. However my luck ended when I jumped off a cliff and the preacher died. Although his reign of terror would be at an end, it meant he couldn't be brought to justice in Santini, forcing me to restart. At this point I realized why the challenge wasn't working out for me and that was of course because I'm an idiot. So I decided to change that and not be completely stupid and only be a little stupid. The next innocent person I would kidnap was named Hunter. His crime was that his name is Hunter which is punishable by death. I kidnapped him and carried him by horseback to the corner of the map. I unloaded Hunter and began our journey to Santa Anita. Yet again I brought the kidnapped person along the railroad which was alright until I passed the Hunter outpost. Everyone there is named Hunter so I opened fire on them killing several. However I knew I couldn't take on all of them so I ran into the wilderness escaping the Hunter patrol. After I lost them, I continued on the railroad making it out of New Austin. This was by far the farthest I had made it with a kidnapped civilian, so I was pretty hopeful I could end it here. This however was not the case as I was looking for a place to cross the river, a badger tore after me. I attempted to escape, but the badger caught me making me drop the prisoner. I immediately shot both the badger and the civilian because no one would be allowed to leave the situation but me. A massive setback since I was halfway there at this point, but I had to restart. At this point I knew it was more than just a badger spy who was against me. The badger population was against me as a whole. They declared war against me, but I intended to win this war, even if it meant killing loads of small animals, which to be honest I would most likely do anyway. The next person I kidnapped was completely innocent and his name is irrelevant. At this point I hadn't established a kill on sight rule but I was extremely cautious. Sadly because I was only cautious and not violent I was mauled by wolves who were working with the badgers. Both me and the civilian were killed which really f***ing sucks. This time I kidnapped a legitimate criminal part of the Del Lobo gang. I carried him on horseback to the corner of the map and began the journey following the railroad. I had learned from previous attempts and established a shoot on sight rule. If it has a pulse, pump it full of lead. An extremely violent act to be fair but I didn't eat any so it was vegan as well. I killed birds, armadillos, and bottles which got me to armadillo safely. However I saw a train and had a hogtie criminal on my back so only a sociopath wouldn't do the same as me and throw him into an oncoming train. Unfortunately I failed kindergarten and miscalculated where to stand and died myself. Hilarious but highly questionable. This time I knew this was the one. I had learned several important lessons over the past 4 hours. One was that anything that breathes needs to be shot, and the others don't throw bodies at trains. Questionable it took me 4 hours to realize that last part but progress had been made so who am I to complain? The criminal I'd be bringing to justice you may ask? Well of course who else other than the criminal mastermind himself, Bob. The orchestrator of over 50 candy shop robberies, stealing over 300 pounds of gummy worms, he truly is a dangerous man. His reign of terror needed to be brought to an end and who else and I could possibly accomplish this? A badger tried to take me down, but this time I stood my ground stopping the badger spy in his tracks. I shot every other small animal I came across after that knowing they would be on the hunt for me. 
I passed in between the canyons ready for a surprise attack, but none came as I passed through. The small railroad near Blackwater has birds in the area which I send out quite easily. I also passed the family ranch but never entered. Crossing the rivers was quite easy and I made it across the massive bridge without getting hit by a train, which is an accomplishment in itself. The rest of the trip was mostly boring and uneventful, that is until I arrived at the factory I mentioned in the last video. I threw Bob down and you all know what happens next. No you sick f this is a PG channel, I let him lay down because his back must hurt from being carried all over the place, the lazy bastard. I carried Bob into town and the last part of the mission to free the nation from Bob, the candy thief's grass, was almost within reach. All I had to do was get into the saloon. Sneaking around to not get seen and going through people's backyards just like in real life, except for in real life I looked through the windows, I made my way to the saloon. Although the candy bandits outside were beginning to realize what I had done, I was able to make it inside and liberate the nation from the candy thieves crisp once and for all. Although the badgers are still a threat, at least everyone can sleep knowing the candy thieves are finally put to justice. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to share with a friend to help spread the channel and subscribe. I had a good time making this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm hoping to commit more felonies in the future, so be ready for that. I currently have a really big challenge that I'm attempting that will drop in a week or two. Anyways, I'll see you on the next video and don't forget to hit that like button.